how to change media transcoding settings on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Then swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. Next, scroll down to the bottom and then tap on developer options. Then we scroll down and in here, tap on media transcoding settings in the media section. So tap on that. From here, there are various settings that you can change, such as override, transcoding defaults, enable transcoding, a zoom app, support modern formats, show transcoding notifications, and disable transcoding cache. So media transcoding is a process where your device converts media files like videos and audio from one format to another. This is often done to ensure compatibility with different playback devices or to optimize the file for specific playback scenarios. So why do we want to turn on media transcoding? Uh, for, for one reason is the compatibility. If you encounter issues playing certain media files on your device or external devices. Enabling media transcoding can help ensure compatibility by converting the files to a supported format. Another reason is uh, performance. Uh, in some cases, transcoding can improve the playback performance, especially for the older or less powerful devices. And uh, another reason is the customization. You can customize the transcoding settings to prioritize factors like quality, speed, or file size. So when would you want to turn off media transcoding? Uh, it, when you turn on media transcoding, it can use battery. So for battery drain, uh, transcoding can be a resource intensive leading to increased battery consumption. So you might want to turn it off if you worry about battery um, usage. Another thing is performance impact. For high resolution or demanding media files, transcoding can impact the overall device performance, especially if your device is already under load. And another one is uh, unnecessary processing. So if you primarily play media files that are already compatible with your device, then transcoding might be unnecessary and can lead to unnecessary resource usage. So ultimately, whether to enable or disable media transcoding will depend on your specific needs and the types of media files you typically consume. And that's it, so hopefully um, these settings here can help to improve um, processing media file on your device. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.